Hey what's up guys Dhruva Modi here back with another Photoshop sure video tutorial and in this video I'm gonna show you how to take this picture of this girl shot in a studio then add a different background how to add the smoke elements around her and then I'm gonna show you how to do this really good color correction as you can see here many layers too much things going on and then I'm gonna show you how to enlarge her dress and then add some really beautiful lens squares and add some color correction to make her look really beautiful so this is going to be a really kick ass tutorial stay with me and let's get started so before we start in last video I showed you how to take a overexposed photograph and bring back all the lost details and make it usable and look really good so if you want to watch that video the link is in the description or you can also click here on this box and after that let's move on to this video so as you can see here many things going on a lot of layers and this is a green screenshot and to mask her I used pen tool in case if you are wondering the quick selection wasn't I wasn't very with, happy with that so I took pen tool and spent like 30-35 minutes I don't know to mask her out so this is her image as you can see here the masked out so I'm gonna use this image as a reference so we do not waste any like half our time just into her masking so I'm just gonna copy her and paste her here so as you can see here we do not have any mask so I'm just gonna this type of things can happen so I'm just gonna throw this layer here so don't worry about it I'm gonna delete this one so you can see better and also delete the background so this is the transparent and I'm gonna press ctrl A and make her in a center so let's go back to this composition and put her here so it can help us so I'm gonna turn on the background layer and I'm also gonna copy the background so let's copy it and go back here and paste it so when you mask your model in this image as you can see here you have to just fill the gray color if you have anything transparent as you can see here it's really easy thing I'm just gonna show you in a bit so as you can see here uh, this is the this is the basic output the background and the girl and if you want to use these images they are from deventart.com and they are totally free if you want to download them the link in the description so you can download it and help yourself with practice so we are ready so first of all I'm gonna show you how to add this depth of field as you can see here so we can make it look that it was shot with a really good lens and the camera so I'm just gonna duplicate this image the background image and then I'm gonna to go to filter you can use two blurs one is Gaussian blur and one is lens blur so let's try with the lens blur first so make sure that you do not overdo it I'm using radius of 54 and the shape is pentagon like 5 so if you turn it on and off you can see here so I'm gonna hit OK and then it's look fake like ridiculously fake because uh, this window is far from this wall so apply a layer mask and grab your brush you have to have knowledge about basic masking and selection stuff because it's advanced tutorial and I cannot explain everything here because if I will try to do so <laughs> the tutorial will be like two three hours long and nobody watches that long videos especially when they are tutorials so I am thinking about making a different video in masking especially for masking because many people have confusion with that but that will we'll talk about that later so as you can see here just in one minute we added really good depth of fill take your time and mask better oops I selected crop tool here's the brush and okay this looks better so this is the fake depth of fill and let's go back so the depth of fill done and then some levels so let me go to levels and 1.25 and nothing else I'm pretty sure so let's go back and create another adjustment layers on top of everything so let's go back to levels and here 1.25 so we can have really good like brightness overall 
and then let's go back and don't worry about this smoke layer right now I'm gonna show you how to do that later so this is the brightness contrast and then there is another brightness contrast but with a different way so first of all let's use the normal one let's see what is the values minus 26 on contrast so let's go back and create another layer and I'm gonna use brightness contrast and in the contrast minus 26 so this far we are going pretty good we did not screw up anything and then this brightness contrast layer if you look at here the mask looks something like this and it might look crazy but it is really easy thing to do so let's go back and create another adjustment layers and this time add a lot of brightness don't worry about everything else we only want her edges to be dark sorry brighter so concentrate on that and after that select your mask and press Control i so we have temporarily hide everything and then Control click on her so we can have selection of her so whenever working with this type of crazy stuff always make sure that you save the mask that you created do not right click and apply this thing i don't like this thing so this way you can use that mask and now go back to brightness contrast pretty advanced stuff no beginners can get really confused but I cannot explain everything in every video so as you can see here I am painting only on her edges to make them brighter I can also go back here and see what are the values so the brightness is plus 53 so I'm gonna double click here and plus 53 and then I'm gonna select the mask again and then I'm gonna paint only on the edges as you can see here so this far we are going great and paint only on the edges because I don't know why but this image has really because it was shot in a really different background and the background we have used is totally different so it can be difficult so now I'm gonna press ctrl D and if I turn it on and off you can see here only the edges looks like that and let's go back and see the mask here so we do not have anything here so I'm gonna go back and grab a black color brush and hide it from here so and I'm also gonna paint like something here so we do not have too much of a brightness so as you can see here it helps to bring that good look actually not the good look <laughs> we are all we are trying to do is match her with the background nothing else so do anything you can to match your subject from the background you do not have to follow the exact steps that I do so that's pretty good so this far we are going good but our model looks pretty bright I don't know why so I think we screw up in the levels a bit so let's go back and check out or okay I, I got it I got it <laughs> you know this kind of things happens with me a lot so as you can see here I wanted to un make only the background brighter not her but we screwed up a little bit but don't worry about it so this far going pretty <laughs> okay okay and then uh, let's see here layer 3 and this is to make her even brighter but this is one really cool different method all you have to do is uh, you're as you can see here this is a separate layer so just copy it you can press ctrl J and put this thing on the top so we have her here and then put this on screen blend mode so she is extremely bright because screen blend mode makes everything brighter and now select the mask and hide everything the same thing we did with the brightness contrast control click on the layer and now paint only on the edges with white color the stuff can be a bit confusing I know my work methods are pretty weird or I don't know they are normal but as you can see here this helps to make these things brighter and match them with background a little better so you can paint it here and a bit here maybe not I don't know so as you can see here in these two layers we made her look way better and the, she looks really better and she looks like she belongs to the background so I'm gonna paint it slight here so we can get rid of that shadow over there so going pretty good and now hue and saturation so this is pretty cool trick 
So whenever you shot a subject on green screen, this kind of stuff can happen. If you have really green highlights on transparent races or sometimes also on the screen. Sorry, the skin. And then uh, you get like, oh my god, how do I get rid of that? So that is really easy trick. You select hue saturation in adjustment layers and then you go to greens but I don't know why in this layer the green is not working that good for me so what I can do is go to master and change the hue directly until that green goes away now I know she looks like magenta but don't worry about that select your mask and press ctrl I as always we have we hide everything with ctrl I and then I'm gonna paint only on that green part so I know magenta is not the color of her dress I get that but you can maybe desaturate it a little bit and then try to match it so usually when you go to greens and desaturate it they goes away but this time not working so you have to keep different type of tricks in your bag it can be helpful so this far we are going great and then the exposure this helps to remove those really dark parts and helps her blend better with the background so let's go here and check out what values we have minus 15 and plus 0 115 and oh my god this is crazy stuff I can like directly copy this layer here so yes that's really good so this is the untitled so as you can see here but what is the point of this doing right so I'm gonna reveal everything so as you can see here this thing I just turned down exposure a little bit and I increased the offset so image will look flat and it will lose the contrast so I'm gonna press ctrl Z nothing else no big deal just increase your offset bit and remove the exposures a little so as you can see here but I don't want her face to be affected so super obvious thing uh, select your mask select brush and I'm gonna paint black color on her face make sure you don't paint somewhere else so this is going pretty good here and so blends a lot better with the background if it's too much you can always decrease the opacity a bit that option is always there so this far you can leave it here if you don't have too much time it already looks way better and she looks like she belongs to that background but <laughs> when we have photoshop why not do something more so what you can do is when you have nothing else to do you can add some smoke without any kind of reasons <laughs> but uh, so here I'm gonna show you how to add smoke but I just remembered that we forgot to enlarge her dress so first let's enlarge the dress so we can add the smoke later and we won't have too much trouble so as you can see here this is the model when you when you realize that you will going to have too many layers just don't be lazy like me and name them so it can be really helpful so put her here and this time uh, as you can see here we cannot use that method because we have already brightened her up so I cannot use the original layer so what can we do so you can do one thing uh, hide the background so she will look something like this and then create a new layer and press ctrl alt shift and E so you can have like composite snapshot of her see her sister <laughs> came out of nowhere so f now turn the background on again and then hold alt key and then apply a mask so we can hide everything and then I'm gonna take a really soft brush so I, I will hide everything from here so you can see what the heck is going on here so I'm gonna make the brush really big as you can see she is right there but she is hidden so I'm gonna paint white color to bring her back actually only the portion of her dress back so I'm gonna make my brush really small here and remove these parts so bit crazy stuff huh but so as you can see here uh, I'm gonna hide it a little bit from here so we can have her better now what you can do is select her and then press ctrl T and 
make her dress a little bit bigger something like this and then put it slightly here so right now I know it looks ridiculous but when you increase the size a bit something like this okay this far it is going pretty good and then hit enter or you can do one thing right click and select warp so this tool allows you to match the curves of the transformation so these things obviously take a lot of time I'm just showing you the method so whenever in the future you want to increase the size of the dress you can do that so it is looking ridiculous I mean it looks good but as you can see here we here we have transparency so make your brush really small and right click and make it slightly harder not too much and then grab white color and start painting select the mask first huh? don't make that kind of mistakes and then select white color and paint in these parts so we don't have transparency this is this is the one type of problem you can have when you use really soft brush but and I know that no matter how bad how good I will try to explain you people uh, you will have some questions so don't worry about that and feel free to ask me in the comments I would love to answer them so as you can see here we have enlarged her dress a little bit and with some problems but you know how to do this thing right now all you have to do is keep patience and paint carefully so and you know when we will add the smoke it will blend a lot better so take care of proportion and we screwed up this thing totally so you can just paint white color here and boo it's gone <laughs> for sure is awesome so as you can see here a big dress without budget in for a shop so this is going good I think I will turn this video into two parts so it, if this video or suddenly ends somewhere don't worry about it and now if you want to watch the part 2 the link should be in the description or you can go to my channel the link is in the description so check out the description for the part 2 okay